Oh my god, that looks like <laughs> that smile looked like a vampire was sucking my freaking blood, bro. Smoky. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Cass. If you're new, I post videos all about content creation for those trying to build their brand business or just learn how to create content in general, you guys. I am so excited for like the new direction my channel is headed in. I really, really want to enforce content creation for you guys, which will still help you build a better you inside and out like my original mission and brand um, purpose. But I want to be more specific, more niche, more narrow in how I am teaching you guys to build a better you. You. so we're gonna do that through content creation but let's get to the video you guys loved my DIY home studio setup video which came out at like the perfect time um, for those of you con trying to create content over quarantine in your own space I showed y'all how I modified my dorm rooms my small space my bedroom into a studio and in this video you guys I want to show you some more studio setups that I've done in my room all right hello beautiful wonderful people of the interweb anyways so today is Sunday and we have a shoot today yeah um, today you guys I'm shooting my official new um, profile picture I'm doing fall rebranding slash 2021 um, sort of rebranding so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot my new profile picture for all my social medias as well as a YouTube intro video I hope to get done so yeah let's go ahead and get this this fit looking right Looking right, looking tight, looking right. So we're shooting everything in my room, in my home studio, which I'm gonna tell you guys more about. Let's get dressed. Oh, all right, you guys. I'm ready. I did my own knotless braids. I'll drop the tutorial down below of the girls tutorial I use, but I really love them. It was like an extra flat method, so you straighten your hair before, and it's. I like it a lot. It's a lot less hair than I usually use and all that good stuff. But yeah, I'm wearing um, falsies for like the first time. I usually can't put them on. I did pretty good on this one. This one, eh. But you know, I can fix that all in editing. But yeah, I'm about to go figure out an outfit and then we'll set up the studio. Typically, and I usually suggest this, I set up before I get ready. But I totally forgot. So we'll be setting up after. But I definitely suggest you set up before so that you don't know, sweat out your face or anything crazy. All right, you guys, so I decided to just go with, like, I'm doing a red lip. Um, I decided to just go with this velvet black robe for the shoe because, as you'll see in a second, I'm shooting on a black backdrop. I'm going to try and play with some lighting, um, and then we're just kind of dripped in, dripped in gold. I fixed my lash, y'all, so I'm really happy. And then I have my ear jewelry, my ring, my gold. Yeah, I think this is real cute, classy. Getting ready for the fall slash Halloween vampy. Love it. So yeah, I don't know if you guys seen my room tour or not, but these are basically kind of my two main studio setups. Um, excuse my laundry that's folded on my bed. And this is kind of if I do a sit down setup, sometimes I'll do it right here. Um, but yeah, so this is like, I've done a photo shoot here. I moved my desk out the way and I've used this. So this is kind of the first one of the studio setups I'm going to break down to y'all. And then over here is kind of like the changeable studio. So I'm about to change this to a black backdrop actually. So if you haven't seen my room tour already, you guys will start kind of see I have different areas in my room kind of set up so that they're filming ready if I ever do want to film there. If you guys are familiar with my channel, if you're OG, then you definitely recognize this location. So this is kind of one of the locations that I'll finesse to be a photo, a shooting location. It is my beautiful grass wall. I built this um, based off of a YouTube tutorial I found. So I'll definitely link the tutorial that I found um, below. But I got the neon sign from Neon Beach Co. And then I got the grass from Amazon. And then I just added this plant that I have from Ikea in the side here. I really liked how it complemented the greenery behind me. So the other setup, you guys, that you see in my video is my studio corner. It's a little corner, very small area um, where I kind of store my studio stuff. But when I want to shoot there, it has the perfect amount of space for a seamless paper backdrop or just any backdrop that I want to put there. I have my props over there, um, my tripods, my lighting, anything that I want to play with. So that's kind of my 
two studio setups that I have in my room. So as far as the backdrop studio, you guys, there's various ways you can hang a backdrop. Me specifically, I actually use clear pins. So literally $2.19. <laughs> um, here we go. Uh, I love using these because A, they're transparent so you can't really see them um, in the photo or the video. You don't have to really edit them out. And for me, it's just an easier way to put stuff into the wall. I don't really have space for a backdrop stand, so I need it completely against the wall. Um, so that's why I don't use a backdrop stand. I do have a backdrop stand, but I just don't use it for my home studio. I store everything. If I'm if it's like not in use, then I just have my lights, everything always set up in that area just because I like an easy setup. So when I want to film, I don't want to have to think about pulling up all my stands putting up all my lights like I want everything to be very simple and easy to grab so I already have my lights my camera on the tripod like I literally have everything that I can set up in that area ready to go and then it's just a matter of moving things out the way putting them where I want them if there's any extra stuff that I have so just like extra backdrops and that kind of stuff I actually have these large duffel bags and I just slide them right under my bed I don't like stuff under my bed at all but since they're like two black really large nice kind of duffel bags that store stuff they look kind of clean under my bed so I'll put those duffel bags under my bed and then they'll store um like some backdrops some cloth backdrops they'll store some lighting stands some lighting like a lot of the stuff that I have and then my backdrop since they roll up pretty nicely if they're not leaning on the corner of my wall then those will be stored under my bed as well so that's just kind of how I manage storage for having a home um studio but everything's in my room I don't store outside of my room got a black backdrop okay lighting Need to figure out how I'm gonna do this. I have some hue bulbs in mystery locations. I might put them inside of this softbox light right here. So I'm going to open up my beautiful softbox here. I got this for like really cheap in high school, you guys. <laughs> so it comes with like these bulbs which give off kind of a bluish tint. Um, so yeah, they're cool. This is what I usually use to film my YouTube videos to just get like a regular, regular look. I'm trying to integrate more cinematic looks into my videos because I'm like, I do film. I know so much about film. Why don't I like show you guys that? Now I only have two bulbs and there's obviously four sockets in here. I don't know. I don't know if it's the safest thing to turn this on. Um, only two bulbs, you guys, but. But to achieve the look I'm trying to achieve, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do, so. So I don't recommend, you know, doing this at home. So the great thing about softbox, you guys, is they don't cause a lot of harsh shadow on your face when you're lighting, if you're new to, like, cinematography and stuff like that. Like, I know when we have our iPhones, we want the brightest light of the sun, but... <clears throat> when you're indoors when you're using more of like a high quality camera you want to soften the light because your camera is able to capture a lot of light for you like right now this is a pretty harsh light on you guys but if i kind of like soften it a little bit you know this is more of a coolish kind of tone to play around with so so this is a little a little lesson on lighting we'll have more detailed lighting videos and all that good stuff but i'm about to go connect this hue bridge so we can get some some red lights all right so i basically have my hue light app i don't know why i'm giving like a random heat tutorial um i don't know which one there we go we're just gonna change the color is it red it's red beautiful so yeah basically you have this like color wheel you can change the color hey cool right let's get y'all in a bit closer this is kind of the vibe so i still have a few lights on in the background so once we turn those off we'll get a lot more of the red vibes but there's different ways you can light your studio um i have two different lights but since i only have like a few hue bulbs i'm just gonna work with this one light as the red but you can always light um yourself from the front we got that little side so we can get that shadow we're gonna be playing around with a lot of different looks here you guys shoot i like the red i gotta play some music while i show or else i can't i can't do it i can't lighting um i'm trying to be more cinematic with my lighting so i'm trying not to have too many lights on me so i typically will just have like one um softbox light which are super super cheap you guys you can get like a pack of three really nice softbox lights from amazon for like under a hundred dollars so definitely definitely suggest investing in that i'm literally right now using like one softbox pointed at me so you can get some really nice cinematic looks and then i really wanted some color to play around with color for this shoot so you guys will see me use hue light bulbs inside of my softbox um in order to get color into the shoot all right y'all so i have my fan on because it's about to get out of my hair all right you guys so as you see we kind of have my studio set up here may change a little bit you guys will get to see that but i'm shooting with my canon 
um, 70D. I'm shooting with my Canon 70D and um, a Sigma 13 to 35. Sorry, 18 to 200. I don't know why I've been calling this lens the 35, but now I'm realizing it goes 200. So Sigma 18 to 200. I'm probably going to be shooting on 18 because I'm going to be shooting pretty close. I don't have too much studio space. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just start with that single light that y'all saw me set up. Um, I'm going to start with shooting horizontally. I use a tripod to shoot myself. Are you ready? Go on. Um, but I'm going to be shooting, switch to shooting mode, I'm on manual, um, I usually just shoot with like the brightest, um, lowest shutter speed and the lowest f-stop as well, I like to bring in as much light as possible because typically I can edit too much light, I can't edit too much dark, so there's that, um, we're already on 10 second timer mode, so I'm gonna leave that there, we have auto white balance on, auto ISO not really gonna manipulate those unless I really see an issue but I think we're good to go so 10 second timer is gonna be our dilio and yeah I'm going to press the start stop button here so that I can actually see my sale I'm gonna use that beautiful flip out screen here almost there you guys almost time so I have these props here I have this like mirror I got it a while ago I don't know what I want to do with it but I mean you can play around with a mirror so I'm gonna go ahead Put on my music and let's get it. I'm gonna take you on a ride. We're gonna burn through the night. Why you're so salty? I'll still take a bite. Okay, we can take my Lambo. I'll put on a tight show. You sure you can handle? We be faster than Jango. Okay. So I feel like we got some amazing, really cool shots. So now I'm going to try moving the light around. The light's mainly been like to the side of me and in front of me. Well, maybe it hasn't been in front of me. I don't know this light. Okay. So we're going to move it in front. We're going to try like some uh, top lighting. I might put like a reflector to do some down low stuff. Oh, and then we're also going to do some regular light because this look is kind of cute. First time we're going to put on lashes that look halfway decent. So we're capturing this. 100%. Alright, let's move this light. I always have to squat. I don't know why I just end up squatting in my shoes because I don't feel like moving the camera and I just can't get the perfect look that I'm looking for if I squat. So basically guys, I press it down since I'm so close I can autofocus on myself um, from here. So I press it down a little bit autofocus and then all the way to get the photo. I try to look at the lens toward the end of the countdown so all my pictures don't look like I'm looking at the sky. <laughs> So yeah, I look dead into the lens, so it looks like I'm looking at y'all. If I looked into the lens right now, which I never do, um, then yes, yeah, so that's what I do when you hear that. Bye, 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 bye. So I really like how my skin looks in the red, you guys, so I'm trying to play more with like my hands and my skin and my hair. I don't know why I said my hair, my skin, because it like really lights just lights up and does some beautiful stuff in the red. All right, y'all, so that's my shoot in this studio setup. Um, like I said, I use various seamless backdrops, all kind of stuff to achieve different studio looks. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead to you guys see my grass video. That one pretty much stays a the same. And I'm going to break down how I design it, how I decorate it. And I guess we could do a little shoot there. Why not?
so my beautiful grass wall set up you guys so there's different ways you can do this i do have a desk in front of my glass wall in front of me um because this is kind of like my desk area my workspace um but i can sometimes i will move my desk completely out of the way and just shoot full body on the grass wall it goes all the way from the top to the bottom of this wall um or sometimes i will shoot on the desk why not but i really really like having this as an alternative backdrop this is just the backdrop that stays like this backdrop will never change versus my studio i can always change that backdrop to fit however whatever i want it to fit all right y'all so i changed up my look um a little bit because this grass wall i feel like is more chillax than <laughs> the black studio but basically i got this i did this grass wall it's in my room tour and this sign finally came from a uh, neon beach co and i really like it because it came with this remote where i can like control it because at first i was nervous that i was gonna be in the back of my videos like blinking and doing crazy stuff but this allows me to control it turn it down so i'm gonna bump it down to like 10 percent that's when it goes crazy so never mind there we go that's like full bright it's cool so I did do some of my birthday photos here as you guys may or may not have saw before the sign was here so that was just a grass wall. So this will be my first time shooting with the sign here. I'm trying to decide if I want to move my desk or if I kind of want to sit on my desk. I kind of do. So we're going to move all this. I don't want to say junk. It's not junk. <laughs> it's stuff I need. I'm going to move all this. I need to put on some lotion. It's a little bit ashy. Make sure you guys stay hydrated on shoots. As you all know I love the off the shoulder look. I think I'm going to do this light on top of me oh you move the chair i hope it doesn't come down on me y'all know i love me some vertical get out of my office okay let's try to put this one in the front ah uh, don't forget if you have a fan on the ceiling everything is great <sighs> ish ish let's move this back all right so i'm actually going to connect my phone now so i'm going to go into my camera menu i will definitely have a video about like taking photos of yourself very detailed instructions as to how i do this you guys um but i'll just give you all some quick quick stuff then you're just going to go to menu you're going to enable your wi-fi you're going to find your wi-fi in the settings of your phone and then just go back into the camera application for me i use canon connect and then i'm just going to select remote live view shooting so i can actually see what my camera is shooting i can take the photo i can change the timer the shutter speed iso all that beautiful stuff all right so let's let's get it so if i'm filming a youtube video here then i typically would do like three point lighting but like i said since i want this to be more of a content creation like cinematic channel i'm actually gonna light these videos a little bit different you guys so i mentioned i have one soft box just kind of angled right here pointing down at me so i have some really nice um kind of cool cinematic looking shadows i'm probably gonna play around with the lighting a little bit more just to get it exactly where i like it but you guys really it's gonna be a tremendous amount of playing around to get what you like playing around with your lighting playing around with your poses and your camera angles and playing around with your um different studio setups your props all of that good stuff I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that this really inspires you to set up different locations in your house, in your space, in your room that you can shoot. Remember, you can always make things movable. I don't know if that's the right term, but I used to have like a dorm room that did not have enough space for a permanent studio. So I just put something like a mirror there that would always be easy for me to move where I can set up a studio into that space. So just all you guys need is a blank wall and you could create a whole new world. So I really hope this video inspires you guys to create your own studios to go do your own diy at home photo shoots to have a lot of fun you guys a lot of this just has to do with having fun expressing yourself you can't really go wrong um when it comes to stuff like this so i'm super excited to see what you guys create if you create something really fun create your own home studio please tag hashtag work that fam i finally found the name for you guys i'm work that cast on instagram see so y'all gonna be the work that fam so hashtag work that fam if you guys try out any of these tips i want to see what you guys create i'm super super excited peace love happiness and respect Oh, y'all are gonna start to see me more crazy. I was like, I'm gonna film more.
my goal is for my videos to be more personable, unique, um, not just like sitting down, like personable, unique, um, informative. I really, really want to give you guys like information that you can take with you and run with it, like just learn so much. And then um, there was a fourth one, fourth one, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you're still here with me, you guys, if you've made it to the end of the video, go ahead and comment below your favorite song. I want to know what your favorite song is. Let's chat. Let's chat about music. I love talking about music.